Hey everyone, my name's Nate. I am a product manager at Sphero, and I'm here today to show you the Bolt Plus Power Pack. Now, when you open up your Bolt Plus Power Pack, you're gonna be met with 15 Bolt Plus robots and their charging cradles. There's an educator guide that's tucked away in the lid, and when you open up the accessory compartment, you will find protractors, turbo covers, challenge cards and stickers, maze tape, and then the power supply to power your Bolt Plus Power Pack. And on the lid of the accessory compartment, you'll see there's a QR code that will take you to Sphero Central. That is our hub for all of your resources for being able to get the most out of Bolt Plus. So when you first get your power pack, you need to get those robots charged up so they're ready for classroom use. Let's plug it in by using the barrel plug on the back side of the power pack. Once you plug it in, you will notice that lights start to begin to illuminate on the robots. There is a blue LED charging indicator to let you know that the robot is charging inside of its cradle. If you don't see that blue charging indicator, you're going to want to just resettle that robot in the cradle so that it turns on. That's how you know your robot is charging. There are a few other LED indicators that you'll notice as well. When you first put it in the cradle, you'll notice a ring of lights that turn on. Those ring of lights are also a visual indicator of the battery level of your robot. Now that you have your Bolt Plus robots charging, when you see that blue light indicator turn off and the cradle light turns purple, your robot is fully charged. Now at the end of the day, or when your robots are done charging, you can go ahead and unplug your power pack. The screen will turn on for about 30 seconds, but the robots will turn themselves off and they will be ready to go for you the next time you're ready to use them. Now that you've seen what's inside of the Bolt Plus power pack, let's talk about the Bolt Plus robot itself. The Bolt Plus robot is about the size of a baseball. It's in a polycarbonate durable shell, which means that it's shockproof and it's also waterproof. Now on the top of the robot, you'll see the vivid LCD display. Around the circuit board is a ring of LED lights that you can program. And then it's also packed with a ton of sensors which allow you to do some really neat things in programming. Now if your robot's turned off, the lights are off and the screen's off, just give it a little bit of a shake to wake it up. The screen will display an animation and then it will rotate between the battery level and the robot ID. All right, and once your robot is turned on, you're going to go into the Sphero EDU app to connect. You'll click on the connect icon in the upper right hand corner and your robot will be listed. Once you're connected, your robot screen will turn on and your LEDs will turn the color that you have set in your iPad. Now, we love the new display on the Bolt Plus robot, and we know that you will too. There's a lot you can do with it in the drive screen by changing the different images or animations that are available. Now, when you're inside of a Sphero EDU program, you wanna make sure that your robot knows which way is forward. To do that, you need to aim it. There are two ways to aim inside the Sphero EDU app. One way to aim the robot is through manual aim. It allows you to take your robot and position it and aim it in any direction that you want it to go. Alternatively, you can go into the aim icon inside the app and use the software version to aim the robot like our previous robots. When you and your students are done programming, you can disconnect from the robot by using the robot screen here on the app and click disconnect. Alternatively, you can place your robot in a powered cradle and once it gets that charging signal, it will disconnect from your app automatically. When you're ready to get programming with your kids and you need to pass out the robots, have the kids form a line, take a robot, shake it to wake it up, and connect. In the accessory compartment are the challenge cards, and those challenge cards go hand in hand with the educator guide. The challenge cards are for your students to complete, but the educator guide is going to guide you on the implementation of those challenge cards so that you know what your students are experiencing as they go through those challenge cards. For more ideas, inspiration, resources, and lessons to get started in your classroom, check out Sphero Central. Have fun programming. <laughs>